1994 to 1998, and uh, during that stretch, Sally coached uh, numerous women's sports. She held administrative positions and was known for her unwavering dedication to supporting and improving the opportunities for the school's female student athletes. From 1974 to 89, Sally was either head coach or assistant coach in volleyball, tennis, field hockey, basketball, cross country, and track and field. Sally also returned to coach the SOU women's tennis team from 1996 to 98. She served as the women's athletic director from 1975 to 1980 and as associate athletic director from 1980 to 89. Sally will also be honored next April by her alma mater, the University of Oregon, as one of the women pioneers in sports for the Ducks. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome for induction into the Southern Oregon University Sports Hall of Fame, Sally Jones. Woo! Sally! Woo! Selected to the Raider Hall of Fame. I hope I don't lose it. <laughs> well, thank you to Gail Patton and the committee for considering me. Deep breath. To the student athletes, really the bottom line, in the health of PE and athletic staff, the university. My friends and family, oh. you, are, you are all responsible for this honor, and I thank you. A special thanks to my mentor, Joe Witness, who's also a Hall of Famer, the other women in the SOU, Health and PE and, and Athletic staff, who are not in attendance, and the others in HPE who really took me under their wing for many, many years. And thank you, Ben, for your everlasting support, for your love, for your patience, and also for being my number one editor <laughs> <laughs> for a long time. Ben has said this could be my last hurrah. So go for it. Well, I assured him it wasn't my last hurrah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got many more to come then. <laughs> this has been a year of nostalgia for me. My mother's passing in March, which gathered family and old friends. My 50th Springfield High School Go Millers reunion, which really reconnected many high school buddies. And this Hall of Fame event, seeing and contacting former student athletes and SOU staff. This reminds me of the importance of teamwork, not only on the field, on the court, on the track, but also in the workplace. I was probably the last of the generalists in health and PE and athletic department. That meant I knew a little bit about a lot of things, which is really dangerous. <laughs> it gave me the feeling that I could coach and teach anything. I coached many sports during my middle school, high school, and college career. And as you read in the, in the program, that would be six sports here at SOU, either as a, a head coach or as an assistant coach. Although I participated in everything offered in high school, in GAA, as some of you might remember, Girls Athletic Association and WRA at the University of Oregon, which is a Women's Recreation Association, this is a history lesson. I was never on a team until 
the U of O synchronized swimming amphibians. <laughs> and that was for four years. And that's what I'm going to get my honor from you, the U of O for. A four. <laughs> participate on tennis teams and my tennis buddies are here. here. I scattered you out. Um, and you know, that's my team. So those are my teams that I that I'm on. In my 37 years of teaching and coaching, I strongly promoted equal opportunity for girls and women in sports. My career at SOU started near the beginning of Title IX of 1972. This is the Equal Opportunity Amendment in education, which cre created the real advancement of girls and women's sports. A new word had been created, and that was equity. Here is a short historical reference as to how things were for women when I first got here. When I arrived in 1974, women's basketball and volleyball teams were practicing in the small gym also called the Ice Palace, with its <laughs> linoleum floor. Joe remembers. Joe here remembers. And it was also called the Girls' Gym. I hated that. The women's teams wrote their own press releases and dropped them off at the Medford Mail Tribune or the Daily Tidings or the Siskiyou on their way back from trips. The athletic training room was in the men's locker room. And so we had to wait until the men were out of the locker room before we got our treatment. And there were no athletic scholarships for women. We've come a long ways. Some can't even remember that. And uh, it's unbelievable. So administrators and coaches of women's sports began working toward compliance. But I would say that after nearly 20 years of Title IX, I'm sorry, not 20, 40 years of Title IX, Few schools, and in, if any, have reached full compliance. Women just wanted to be treated and respected like men's teams. Athletic director Matt Sayre and coaches are still working to show progress towards compliance. Women deserve their half of athletic opportunities. Ben and I continue to be sports nuts. We love to watch and support all levels of sports, girls and boys, men and women. We realize the importance of being involved in healthy endeavors that can last a lifetime. Thank you, SOU, for a wonderful career and opportunities that you have given me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> really my Academy Award. <laughs> mentioned quite often here, and in fact, uh, since I joined the staff at Southern Oregon University, his name comes up quite often. Still trying to figure out why, but I think I know why now. Our next inductee is Bob.